Also today, we're following another story. The adjustments that are being made for the coronavirus when it comes to our first responders, there's a lot that they have to do to stay safe. As 7 News reporter Scotty Kay tells us, emergency crews in Spartanburg and Cherokee counties want you to know that they're not letting it affect their ability to serve and protect. July 4th is uh, historically a, the, uh, a holiday that is very busy for us. Firefighters in both Spartanburg and Cherokee counties expect an increase in calls this weekend. From a personal standpoint, I love the, the, the wonderful weather we're going to have this weekend, but from a fire chief standpoint, I hate the weather we're going to have. I wish it rained all weekend. The kinds of calls they usually respond to over the holiday weekend are for injuries and accidental fires caused by fireworks. We would hate for somebody to lose a home or lose um, you know, property or burn a field. But responding to calls this year will be a little different from years past as crews now face an extra obstacle called the coronavirus. We want to provide the service that the community expects and the community deserves, but we also don't want to, we want to make sure we keep our guys safe so that the call today doesn't hamper us from running the call tomorrow. And it's not just firefighters who face that obstacle. i got like six deputies that cannot work right now. We're waiting on their test results. Now, I understand that, you know, you know, we're, we're not any more special than anybody else, but, you know, we, we have a service that we must give people, not need to, but we must. That's why first responders are taking extra steps to try and prevent the spread and to make sure they can be there for you when you need them. We reduced the number of medical calls we're running to, and part of that was to protect our ability to provide fire service to Spomber County. We started taking all of our guys' temperatures every day. We've been really diligent about spraying our trucks down. The guys have come, as soon as they come back, they take their clothes off, everything they had with them, they wash those, they go take a shower and get ready for the next call. Right now, emergency officials say they have plenty of personal protective equipment to keep their teams and you safe. Our guys have N95 masks, they have gowns, they have shields, they have, you know, they, we, we always wear gloves. Don't worry about police response, we're coming to help you. No matter what. But they have a message to those with plans for the holiday weekend. Be cognizant of the events that are going on today and remember that social distancing is a big part of what's going to help us get past the COVID-19 experience. If you're around folks, if you can put a mask on, please do, or just social distance and make sure you wash your hands and no licking doorknobs. Scotty K, 7 News.